Would this be weird if I got a chemical peel on my stomach? On your stomach? Uh, I mean, you could try it. Hey guys, so long story short, I was pregnant for almost 10 months and I was big. This is my second baby and my stomach was way bigger than it was with my first. I had a line down the middle of my stomach. Can't remember what it's called. You can remind me in the comments if you want. But as you can see, it was super dark. Right here, I wasn't even 30 weeks and my stomach was huge and I had so much like hyperpigmentation around my belly button. And as my stomach got bigger, my stomach actually got darker. And after I gave birth, my stomach looked like this. So, this is why I decided to get a chemical peel. Would well, this be weird if I got a chemical peel on my stomach? On your stomach? Uh, I mean, you could try it. Because I've done my face so many times, and people keep asking me to do something on my body. And I'm like, the only part of my body that I would get a chemical peel on is my stomach. Because I just had a baby. My stomach's a little darker. Yeah, I mean, I... Stretch marks? Right, it's not, so... What would it do? Stretch marks are, are tears in your dermis. Okay. Right? So your dermis is like the deep, deep layer. Mm -hmm. The peel, the uh, the VI peel that we do, it maybe goes to the superficial dermis, but mm -hmm. it's not going to hit, like, the stretch marks. Even if it takes a thin layer of my skin, I'm straight. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Fine, try it. You know. So I just want to try it and see because people keep asking me about like, hey, if I did it on my leg or can I get it on this? Yeah. Part? You know what I mean? Sure. I just want to. Yeah, I mean, it just might not be like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for most people, it probably would be cost effective to do like yeah. a leg, you yeah. know, like a shin. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. But, but uh, just to try it out. But if you want to try it, all right. Okay. Let's do it. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to get my stomach peeled, but I want to show you guys. So this is my stomach before the chemical peel. As you can tell, um, I've had a baby, what, three months ago, and my stomach is a little bit dark. And I just wanted to see if the peel would peel any of that darkness away. I do have a little bit a stretch stretch marks as well but I just want to see if the chemical peel will work on my stomach because you guys ask me a lot about body peels and I was really interested to see if it worked. Just like we did with the face the first step we're going to do is just clean to make sure the chemical really sits just on the skin and nothing like no dirt mm -hmm. or anything. We'll see. So the first thing we're going to do is do the peel prep. So this is the acetone that we use mm -hmm. on your face. Um, it's completely safe for your skin. Mm -hmm. You are so concerned about the acetone. No, it's, I, and I know, and usually because the smell, I mean, you use this to remove your nail yeah. polish. So, um, but no, it's completely safe for your skin. Mm -hmm. And it dehydrates um, to make sure we can get your skin dry and remove all the... And that comes in the VIP kit. That comes in the kit, yes. Yeah. So the kit comes all together, packaged together. Um, it comes with this, the peel prep towelette, it comes with the sterile gauze that we use to apply the peel with, mm -hmm. and it comes all with your like post-care instructions and stuff that you use. So it's perfectly safe, guys. It's safe <laughs> for all the people in the comments. <laughs> yes, it's very safe. And this is the we same wouldn't thing. be doing this if right. we weren't safe. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and what were you saying? This is the same thing I got last time, guys, but it's on my stomach. But I don't have the purifying effect because it's not on my face. So, we're going to set. <laughs> um, step, I'm just going to lightly put the peel on. And this is what you're going to do at home, too. It's like you don't want to you don't want to be too aggressive, mm -hmm. but you also don't want to just dab it in. Mm -hmm. So, let's see how far we can take this. <laughs> It doesn't matter, I just 
Is it burning? No. No, it's I not? Okay. Like All right. I think it's going to burn less on your stomach just because the tissue is a little bit thicker mm -hmm. than your skin. But I'm going to focus the next peel or the next um, layer just on where I see your stretch marks. Mm -hmm. And then you want to make sure look out for frosting too, just like we did on your mm -hmm. face. Um, it's a white, and it looks like you don't have anything yet, which is great. You're gonna have to update us. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is totally interesting. <laughs> So I'm gonna guess that you're gonna probably start peeling around your belly button first. Okay. I guess. But then again, I guess it depends on how much you move, because mm -hmm. like you start peeling near the mouth first, because that's yeah. the part that you move mm -hmm. the most. So. Yeah, so we're gonna let that dry, and then I think we're gonna actually turn this around so then the smooth side okay. is on there, just okay. so the tissue is not rubbing up against and picking out the peel. Okay. Will it dry? I can't remember. Does it dry completely or does it? It won't. It won't. No. It's just like no. your face like sticks. Oh yeah, the thing. Yeah. Um, so I think this. I mean, I'm going home. So I'll do that. All right. So let's see what we can do with wrapping you up. <laughs> All right. So let me flip this around. Yeah. I don't know how much of it would actually stick on this thing, which I hope that much. Right, but you can go ahead and stand up. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do. So try putting it up your shirt a little bit. Alright, and ace it around. Alright. Is that too tight or is no, it good? No, it's all good. Right. Look, you can make it tight. <laughs> the things I do for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Things you do for all of your loving followers. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think you're good. Yeah. yeah. There we okay. go. Right. There we go. Yeah, that feels good. I'm good. I don't even need a button. I just put my shirt down. So in the next few days, like, what should I do and like not do? So, oh, okay. just to let them know. Yeah, okay. So, do not exercise for the next three days because you're going to start the healing process around day two, day three, usually day three. Um, so, don't do any exercise. I would, since you got it on your stomach area, I would try to avoid bending. Mm -hmm. Like, if you sit for a while, mm -hmm. try not to. Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't know really how to explain that. Okay. But because it's just a weird area that we're doing it in, mm -hmm. it, any creasing can take off the peel in the next okay. day, at least by the, your four hours today. Okay. Um, when you start doing your peel prep tonight, so you have to have the peel on for at least four hours. Mm -hmm. I recommend a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, don't cleanse it in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, and then do start doing your post care, which we'll go over on the app how to do all that because okay. the app makes it so much easier now. Mm -hmm. um, and then afterwards, I mean, you can the next three days you can just go about your day mm -hmm. and. I don't no really think showers. Yeah. Don't peel it once. Don't peel it. Don't once. don't peel it. Yes. Just like your face, you don't. It's gonna start peeling, and like I said, it's probably gonna start peeling around your belly button area. Yeah. Don't don't put, pull on it. Just you can use scissors just to trim it, depending okay. on how you peel. Okay. From your videos that I saw, you peel like yeah, like I just with sheets. Like yeah. Yeah. So just cut it. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna peel the same around your mm -hmm. stomach as you do on your face. So yeah. just. As it starts peeling, you could trim it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not me somewhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Trimming your stomach. Right. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, like Dina said, no hot showers. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I don't really. That's it. Yeah, that's oh, really yeah. it. Yeah. Well, like I said, you get your little post peel pack care package, mm -hmm. and it's yeah, the instructions will tell you 
more exactly. to each much day. Yep. And then VIP also has an app now. Yes, they have an app, so they can tell actually you each day like what to do. I figured you are. Thank you. Thank you. I'm out. <laughs> Who's going next? You? Are you next? I don't know. You want to talk about how you feel? Okay, um, it didn't really, it didn't hurt at all. I just felt like a little cooling sensation. I'm honestly good to go. I've had this so many times. You guys have watched me get chemical peels, what, for years now? But honestly, the stomach probably feels just like a little bit cool. But they wrapped my stomach up so it won't get like all over my clothes. I have to wear this for, what, four hours? Mm -hmm. And then I take it off, wash it, and all of that. I'll show you guys the whole process, so don't worry. They don't know if it's gonna work. We don't know what it's gonna do, but we're just testing things out. Hey guys, so it is now like after 10 p.m. Sometime after 10 p.m. And my stomach is still wrapped up from the doctor's office. And I am going to do my post care. Um, I look a mess because I just look a mess. So I'm gonna take this bandage thing off. I just wanna see what my stomach Ow. I want to see what my stomach looks like under this. Oh. Okay. As you can see, it has a little bit of that solution on it. But I think what I'm going to do first is actually take a shower they just told me i could take a shower but i can't take a hot shower so i'm gonna cleanse my stomach in the shower i just can't take a really hot shower and then after the shower i'm gonna get out and do the rest of what i need to do okay guys so this is me fresh out of the shower um and i'm going to use my post peel towelette and i'm gonna rub that all over my stomach so I basically follow the directions of the packet. VIPL actually has an app now that you can follow, so it makes it super easy to know which steps to take. My stomach was normal for about two weeks, and then after two weeks, I started noticing some peeling. So this is what my stomach looked like on October 11th. So it was, I think, like two weeks and some change until I started to see any peeling happening. So this day is October 12th at around midnight so this is how my stomach was looking i started to film when i like noticed that there was more peeling happening so as you can see the sides of my stomach are starting to peel and you can definitely see like the line of demarcation and everything this was a very satisfying process to go through because i actually see the darkness peeling away so it was great but this is a picture of my stomach so this is the same day but in the evening and this is how my stomach looked as you can see um you can like tell where it's peeling and where it's not peeled yet because my stomach is darker in the center so it started peeling on the sides and then you know obviously you can tell <laughs> the peeling didn't itch or hurt or anything like that and i didn't apply any of the sunscreen or the moisturizer because i just didn't need it and i needed you guys to see where i was peeling at so this day is october 13th in the afternoon this is the next day i asked my husband to film me outside so that you guys can see how it's peeling in like daylight um, as you can tell this is a picture of that day it was peeling a lot and it was very noticeable um, i took a picture the next day october 14th and this is how it was looking pretty similar it just started peeling a lot more um, this is also october 14th in the evening time I was wearing my waist trainer as one does after, you know, you have a baby. I personally do because it makes your stomach shrink a lot faster and you get your shape back. So I love wearing my waist trainer. So I'm just taking this off and I just want to show you guys if you do like wear waist trainer and you do get a chemical peel in your stomach, if you decide to, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> um, you won't see as much peeling because like you're sweating under the waist trainer and you just don't see the actual peeling happening but that doesn't mean it's not happening um as you can tell it's still peeling and you can see the lines of where it has peeled already and where it hasn't but it just doesn't look as dramatic which is a good thing if you do still want to wear whatever you want to wear so that is how it looked on the evening of the 14th So 
So I did skip a day of filming because nothing really changed. But on October 16th, this is how my stomach looked. It was almost done peeling, basically. It was only the center part left of my stomach. And then I skipped a couple days. This is October 19th. And this is how my stomach was looking. Yeah, don't mind me. I just ate. But um, it was only, it only had like a little bit left to peel, which was great. Did not physically peel anything on my stomach. I wanted to see what the natural shedding process, like how long it took. Yeah, it took a minute. It took almost like a month. So here are my before and after video. On the left side, I was at the doctor's office. On the right side, I was at home. Of course, the lighting conditions are a little bit different, but I could tell that I definitely got results first of all the satisfaction of my stomach just peeling and a layer of my skin coming off on the darkest area on my body right now was great just it was just super satisfying so as far as my stretch marks go i would say that those didn't fade at all if anything they got a little bit lighter which i've noticed with my last pregnancy that that happened before they started to fade away um as far as the darkness goes i feel like it definitely got lighter i will definitely be doing this chemical peel two more times on my stomach so make sure you subscribe like this video watch these other videos in the meantime and i will see you guys in the next one